So we're on our way to Cuba. The wind is coming from the direction we're trying to go. So we're not able to go in the correct direction. We're chasing, or not chasing, we are running away from a storm because the forecast was wrong once again. Um, we're also in 10 foot swells. Uh, water's crashing over the boat like crazy. Um, I turned it on to see the wind direction. 
Yeah. And Tony and Joel are getting seasick. It's getting dicey. And but we're gonna get in though. Eventually. It was supposed to take about probably twenty hours, twenty four hours, and probably looking more like thirty plus, so wish us luck, folks. Living the dream, right? <laughs> this is living the dream. Discovering, Joel? I'm discovering. A little self. A little perspective being added. Enjoy the good times. And I'm starting to learn is uh, really be a present in the bad times. I'm not, I'm not running from this moment. I don't wish I felt better. Or I don't wish I was back safe on land. Or wish my stomach was iron like Jared's and I wasn't sick and throwing up. I don't wish any of that. I'm accepting this fully aware to see if I can learn from it if I come out the other side.
Boom, boom, jaw. You okay? Is it all the way tightened down? Just a huge 
gust came and hit us, huh? It's not even rocking or nothing. Now, if it gets out of control again, then call. But right now, we're okay. Our good friend Chris Holbert sent us weather maps with the time as well as an estimation of our location when the thunderstorm hit us. We plotted a line directly from Key West to Cuba. Our goal was to get 10 miles east of it before we went south and entered into the Gulf Stream, which would allow us to utilize the current and the wind as opposed to fighting it. We were sailing directly into an easterly storm, and we decided to go south well below of our intended entry in hopes to get below the storm, which was predicted to eventually move north. Of course, it went south. That's sailing. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how a good captain falls asleep. when we need him. I'm gonna swap Jared out. Uh, we're like oh, 21 hours into this trip right now. Just stuck below the stream, but let's have Jared catch us up here quicker. I've been averaging probably four, three. Um, and we, uh, at the end of my last shift, we were 13 miles east of our line. And now we've managed to get it back to six and a half miles. 
And in my two hour shift, I was able to get us two miles closer to our line. So I'm predicting that we will be back on course before we get to Kiva, which will be nice. We won't have to tack back up the up west. So we should be getting in around 2, uh, 2 a.m. this morning. So we will have to anchor though. Customs. Into this house we're born, into this world we're thrown. Boab.